second part, some of the TARS questions. Okay. So, uh, number one, do you hate Chinese people, Americans, and the French? So just wait. Um, so about this, this, this part, it will just be um, majorly, it will be my opinion. So I do not know if it was wrong or not, but yeah. I have also tried to search uh, these questions in the internet, but um, they were so many and uh, they are sometimes uh, not a very like, appropriate or according to me, not very true ones. So yeah, I would just try to express my own opinion instead. Yeah, so uh, do I hate Chinese Americans or the French? No, but why? Because why do I didn't, uh, did I didn't, did I not feel hatred towards them? Firstly, it was about the different view. Maybe it was because I didn't go through such brutal things. I didn't experience the war. I didn't suffer from life and death and whatever they did to our country. My generation is the next generation. So we mostly have a different view with, with wars compared to the ones before us. Of course that we still must learn and remember from those cruel lessons, but it was all because we want to maintain our peace right now. Uh, the word is flattening. And uh, to me, the best way to sow gratitude with the bitter past is to build a better future with peace being maintained and a sustainable tomorrow, kind of. Uh -huh. Besides that, um, I think that this question is somewhat a case of overgeneralization, overgeneralization, yeah. And uh, this type of thinking is really dividing human beings as a whole part because of course that we have to know that the French were brute, were cruel and the Americans were brutal during their rule of the country. Yes, and maybe the Chinese as well. But just because their government and their country wanted to colonize and bring us torment doesn't mean that all of their people wanted that. It must be stated clearly. So maybe if I went in, maybe I came to another country or just I I went down the road and I saw some Chinese, I went, uh, I saw some French, I saw some Americans. I can't say that just like, you, you want to kill us Vietnamese people, so I will hate you, no? <laughs> so uh, hence, although the memory of the Vietnam War, as well as other conflicts in Vietnam history is still very fresh, I would not say that I hate them or at least just the government, but yeah. Okay, to the last question. Um, so, although the French did some bad things to Vietnam and uh, Vietnam country and Vietnamese people, they did many good things that Vietnamese people still benefit. Uh, and uh, the question here is that should Vietnamese people be grateful for the French for that? It was undeniable that uh, the influences of the French did that benefit some aspects of the Vietnamese people's life, even until now. For example, bread and coffee, the new poetry movement, uh, the update of Western fashion and outside in modern style, uh, the linguistic system, the roads, the public works, etc. There are tons, but uh, we were not, uh, no, but they were not just there for free. Um, nothing is free and no one will ever charge you anything unless it was your family. As for the cultural cuisine and the arts field, um, 
it was somewhat can be called assimilation in thoughts and ideology in the wrong run. Or as for the architecture and the public works, uh, built by the, you can see that the railroads, the highways, the harbors, bridges, canals, and other public works built by the French were mostly started to take advantage of rapid and systematic exploitation of Indochina's potential wealth for the benefit of themselves. Vietnam, in that case, became a source of raw materials and a market for tariff protected goods protect, uh, produced by French industries. So um, whatever economic progress Vietnam made under the French after, uh, after 1900, benefited only the French and the small class of wealthy Vietnamese created by the col colonial, col col colonial regime. How about the, the others? The masses of the Vietnamese people were deprived of such benefits. For example, other ways of making the Vietnamese pay for the projects undertaken were the recruitment of forced labor for public works and the absence of, of any protection against exploitation in the mines and rubber plantations. As you can see, uh, there were a, like a short story of uh, author Nam Gao, which is Lao Hak. Uh, and uh, this main character's son uh, is uh, working for the rubber plant plantations and According to the story, then his son is nowhere uh, like it would take a long time for him to went back to his home and maybe for his whole life he couldn't went home and to see his dad anymore. So yeah, it was just a uh, like a uh, some questions to that oh yeah it was my opinion so yeah end of my presentation